Hello everyone and welcome to the episode 5th of our package of the week series. Package for this week is country code picker. Here you can see we have this FL country code picker and this package help you to select a country code from list of all item. So before I move forward let me show you what we will be building with this package. Here you can see I have the iOS simulator here. If I open this country picker application. So on the home screen we have this particular text field where we can enter the phone number. Let's say I enter this as one two three or anything if i click on login then it will show me select your country code first so if i click on this now it will open up a bottom sheet for me and here inside this bottom sheet here you can see we have the list of countries and also for each and every country we get a country flag country name and at the right side we have the country dialing code so let me just search india because i am from india so i click on india here and this has updated the flag here and also the country code here which is plus 91 for India. So let me just enter this number and if I click on login now it will show me the phone number is plus 91 and then this is the number. So this is everything that we will be building with this particular package. So without any further ado let's get started. Okay, so before we start coding anything let me tell you why I have created this particular video. On YouTube you will find a lot of tutorials using this country code picker package which is obviously discontinued for now. So this means we have to find some other way out and that's the reason we will be implementing this logic with our package. So let me show you FL country code picker or rather it is here only I am writing it there and here you will see we have a lot of options like the picker view picking up the favorite items then picking up with a particular filter. So let's do one thing let me just go to my visual studio code and here I have the application open and this is main.dart file and this is also running in our iOS simulator. So what we can do is we will delete everything from here and I will write import material.dart and this will be void main and here we can write run app and for our run app we will have this stateless widget which is my app so this will be my app. And now we can just return a material app and this material app will first of all we will remove that debug banner and home can be home screen and we have to create this so we will write stateful widget home screen and now here we can return a scaffold perfect I can provide a constant value here click on save so we got this here this is an empty screen empty white screen because we have this scaffold here so now it's time to add the package so what you can do is we will go to your pubspec ml file so one method is you can directly copy this from here and go to your pubspec ml file and here you can just directly paste this but other best method that i would suggest you to install this particular extension pubspec assist i have already talked about this on most of my tutorials this is a great extension so now I will open the command palette and I will write add dependency and I will paste that package name here and click on enter. So what this will do is it will get the particular package from the internet and it will save the latest version inside our project. So you can click on save and close the perspec yaml file and I guess the package has been added successfully. So I think we can start designing our application. So we can create a column first with a main axis can be center because we want everything to be in center this also center now for the child part first of all we will have a text form field I click on save okay we got the text form field here now for our text field we can specify the keyboard type so this will be text input type dot number so the keyboard type will be number if I click on this you can see numbers are displayed here if you also change this to email address and click on save reload the application or click on this so we got the tech keyboard type change here so we can just change this to numbers because this is because we will be entering the phone number here and text input action this can be done and the maximum line that we can assign is one so this will be maximum lines we don't want the user to keep entering the numbers in next line also so we'll just delete this here and now it's time to decorate our text field so we will write decoration this will be input decoration 
and for the decorations what we can do is first of all we will write the label text this will be enter phone number click on save and now we can define some label style which will be text style and color can be color dot gray 600 click on save okay and now what we also want is i don't want this particular line here so we will write border input border dot none okay click on save so we got that line removed from here if i reload we have this enter text enter phone number and now we can do is we will define a prefix icon for this so prefix icon can be a container first of all we want this to display a container so this container will have a padding let's say edge insect and i usually prefer the horizontal symmetric padding so this will be 15 and this can be 6 and other than the padding we can also define some margin here so this can be again symmetric and we need a horizontal margin not the vertical because we want the space from left and right sides so i guess there is some issue here let's define the child row and children can be a text let's say plus one so we can just do is we will wrap this with a container and we can define some property for this container like we can provide some decoration so this will be box decoration and color can be colors dot black so this is not that much complicated we are just focusing more on the style for the text field you can dis you can just use it according to your choice now let me change the text color as white click on save so we got a plus one here so i guess we have to provide a little bit of padding and margin too so this can be again symmetric horizontal can be 16 and vertical can be 6 click on save ok so we are displaying this here and now what we can do is we will also define the border radius so this will be inside this box decoration because we are decorating the container so we will write border radius dot circular let's say a 5 value here ok this looks ok but we are not showing our text field because here you can see we are not showing the text field so we can write main axis size dot min click on save and now we got the text field here so if i just reload the phone number 12345 so we got this here and now i think what we can do is whenever we will click on this particular container we should we should be displaying our bottom sheet which is our package that we have added so this con for making this container as a clickable item we can just wrap this with a gesture detector and on tap can be so on on tap what we will be doing is so first of all we will be calling the instance for a country picker so what we can do is at the top here we will write final this will be country picker and this will be fl country code picker you can also see the documentation here if you want this is here fl country picker const value of fl country picker so we can provide a const value here and now we can use this country picker here so on on tap we can just write country picker and we can just await for this to happen and as we are using await we will also write async and this will be show picker and this will be context now this is of type country code picker so we can just get this inside our code and now if you click on this we are showing all of these values here but whenever we click on anything this is not displaying us the values and rather this is only stored here in this code value which is of type country code so this means we have to create another value so we can write country code and country code and now we will update the value of this uh, code here to the value of our country code so this means we will do a set state and country code will be equal to the code value I click on save and now if you just print this or rather we can do a debug here if I reload if I click on this 
and let's say I select this item here. So we have the code as AX and the name is a land and the flag URL. So we got the flag URL and we also have this widget, this flag image. So we can display that also. This means our logic is working. So we can just remove that breakpoint from there. And now what we want is I will grab this with a row because alongside this particular container, I also need the flag icon. So this will be something like if I go here. So this will be a container. And as you've seen in the debug console, the flag item is a widget which is displayed from the country code. So, so we can write child as first of all, we will check whether this is not equal to null and then we can display the country code dot flag image. If you hover over this, you can see this is a widget. So we don't need to code anything for this. I guess this is null value here. And as we have used this condition, so we have to also use a null here and click on save. So right now as we selected this particular value, this is the reason it is showing me a flag of this country. If I just reload, then this will show me a null value. So this is working fine. We can also provide a little bit of width here. Let's say 10. Click on save. This width is in regard to the flag. So let's say I click on this. I select Afghanistan here. We got the flag here, but the value of country code that is plus 93 is not updating here. Like if you go and search for Argentina, the value is not updating and we have this plus one here. So what we can do is we will first of all check whether country code dot dial code, which is if we open the app, we will be shown with no code here. So after we select that code, then this value will be created. So if we have no code, then we can display a plus one. You can write a comma here right now as we have updated a value. So if you see here, so let's say we select a particular country. Let's say we select Australia. The code is plus six one. So if I click on Australia, then this will update the code as plus six one also here. We can also change this to India, let's say. So this will update it to India. So this is a code package. So if I click on reload, so we have nothing here. And if I select a country, let's say I go with India, click on this. We got a plus nine one here, the country flag. And now we can enter the number here. And after we enter the number, I want to display the snack bar. So for doing that, let me just first of all do a const value here. So for doing that, what we can do is you can do is if you go to this text form field below this text field, we can create an elevated button. Let's say this will be on press can be which will code just in just a while and this will be login let's say a const value here and we can also define some okay this is showing me an error because i need to place a comma here you can also define some height let's say 20 click on save so we got this login button here we can change the style so this will be style elevated button dot style from the primary color will be color of the black and click on save. So we got a color updated there. And now whenever we click on on press, what we want to do is first of all, we will check if country code is not equal to null. If the country code is not equal to null, then we can display that values else. We will write or rather first of all, let me code the snack bar. So this can be scaffold messenger dot of context and then we have a value like show snack bar and this is this will take a snack bar so we will write snack bar and the content content can be text let me just close this here and the format in which we want to display is we will write first of all the country code dot so this will be country code dot dial code if i click on save if i log in so we get 91 here and we can just place a slash here and this will also be country code or rather not country code we want to first take the value of this text form field so for that we can just create a controller here this will be final text editing controller this will be text editing 
controller and we can just write this as phone number controller we can just do it like this and now we have to assign this controller to our text form field so this will be controller phone number controller we can click on save and here we can just do phone number controller dot text dot trim we will trim any of the white space or extra space like this so we can just trim all of this value and click on save and now if i reload so we have no value selected if i click on this i select afghanistan here and i enter the number here one two three four five six click on login so we got the number here displayed in this format so this means this is working but what if i just don't enter anything i click on login then we should also show a snack bar that please select the country code first so we can copy this and in place of this we will write please select a phone number rather we will do a const value I'll click on save and now if you write one two three four five six then it will show me our option to please select a phone number or rather country code we can change this to country code click on save so if i click on this country code now this will show me the value if i reload if i log in please select a country code you can enter the number and we got the values here so you can just use that value in this format and pass it to your app screen for authentication or any other process that you want to do now we got the first part done so we can also have this option of displaying particular favorite items like the list of favorite countries that you want to display on top so the way we can do that is first of all we will be creating a init state because whenever the app will be loaded so we will be injecting few favorite items to the fl country code picker so the way you can do that is we will write final favorite countries this will be a list and let's say i assign the favorite country as india first then we have the canada then us and we can also do a uh, let's say what are the values japan okay so we got a list of these favorite countries and now we have to call our country picker so we can just do a country picker and uh, fl country code picker but this will show me as an error that cannot be setter because it's final so what we can do is we will remove everything from here and we will write country picker and now it will show me as a late value so we can assign a late value here and now in this country code picker we have this option of favorites so if you see this is a list of strings so we can just assign the string here and this is also having one option which is the favorite icon so this will be favorite icon icon dot star and we can assign some color which can be let's say amber we can do a const value here and now if i just first of all let me remove this we don't need this if i reload and now if i click on this so here you can see we have the canada india japan and the united states as the favorite items and all of these value are displayed on top and then we have the rest of the world here so I think it's time to wrap the video and we got a lot of information about this country code picker widget. So if you want me to create videos in this country code picker widget and also using the Firebase authentication for phone provider. So do let me know in the comment section for that. So thanks for watching and do subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed the channel yet. Thank you.